Welcome back to Vault Hunters 118. In this episode, we are going to get our fusion reactor up and running, uh, hopefully, if everything goes right. But as always, we have our Q&A of the day coming in from S-Ray, or S-Ray, 31716. Their question is, how did my involvement with Mastermind come about? What's Mastermind? It is a collaboration game show put on by Hellfire Mage. Check out the first episode. It came out yesterday. Uh, my collaboration came about pretty simply. Hellfire Mage DM'd me um, a month or two ago and was like, hey, do you want to be in this collaboration? And I was like, ah, uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> he, I, I think I asked him how he found my channel and he was like, oh, YouTube recommended it to me. And I was like, that's a cool thumbnail. So I guess the answer to your question is I make good thumbnails according to Hellfire Mage. Why is there a wandering trader over here? Get out of my base. You're not welcome here. Oh, bananas. Oh, you're selling bananas. I hate the bananas. The bananas are the most useless thing. I put one on the ground, and I didn't slip or slide on the banana. Just a worthless item. So as far as our reactor goes, I set up a bunch of infrastructure. We've got our weirding gadget here trunk loading this area, and I have fully upgraded our rotary condensator, this rotary condensator, this rotary condensator, and put a few upgrades into this guy so as not to pull too much um fe and then if we hop over to our space station you'll see i set up you know our, our uh, storage system here and i have two more fully upgraded rotary condensators that take it from the liquid tritium and turning it into gaseous tritium liquid deuterium turning it into regular deuterium which is all just stuff that i said i was going to do this is nothing new uh, you see me do it a million times what i want to do next is start the process of actually turning this thing on as well as take some of your guys' suggestions, apparently there's something called reactor glass that we could use to peer into the reactor, which sounds really cool. Oh, we have reactor glass. Right, because we used it earlier. Well, uh, you know, but they say you don't always have to be the smartest. You just... Uh, yeah, okay. Well, foolishness aside, I will take this. Is this the north side? Oh, that's nice. Well, the north-facing base. I will take this side... And I will replace the available ones, because you can only do this plus sign, I think, if you change the corners. Yeah, okay, now we can see right on into this thing, which is really cool. And the reason I haven't yet hooked this up is because we actually need something special from these. We need to actually make DT fuel, because we need this thing called a whole rum, and we have to fill it with DT fuel. The whole rum itself is easy, it's just some gold dust and carbon and a metallurgic infuser. However, we do need to make a full chemical infuser uh, just to do this. Um, unless I have a chemical infuser I could repurpose for this. Hold on. This is the chemical infuser. So is this one. And I have inf- Air. I'll just use this guy. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll just steal this chemical infuser from my sulfuric acid production. Because the water vapor that I'll waste dumping it is not that much. It's not that bad at all. And just as easy, I can make the whole rum. Because there'd be no reason not to have it. And then it'll go right into this chest. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, and I should be able to just put the chemical infuser here, and then I want to dump this. How do how do I dump that, actually? Can I dump that? I should be able to. Okay, I'm just going to make a basic chemical take, and uh, I think I could... Eh? Does water vapor not go in a basic chemical tank? I feel like it would, wouldn't it? Yeah, I can go in a basic chemical tank, so why can't I take this out? Take it out. Out of the... Do I really have to make a full new infuser? Is there no way for me to dump this? Okay, apparently I need something called a gauge dropper? Huh. Okay, that's cheap. Okay, so we'll make the gauge dropper, and apparently I... Ah! Wow, that can store a lot of it. Okay. Great. Thank you, gauge dropper. Okay, and now I should be able to... Yeah, all right. Well, there goes 10,000 deuterium. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. I, whatever, right? Who cares? I'll put that, and then this will convert it into DT fuel. Uh, put the whole rum in here, and... Okay, stop, stop. Stop it. Stop. You're wasting. Stop wasting. Now I have to gauge dropper a bunch of this to get sulfuric <laughs> production back up, but whatever. Um, the whole rum is going to go in here, and... Yep, that was that. It's ready for a reaction now. Last thing we're going to need is some pressurized tubes. These pump at 750 millibuckets each. So I th I think that's fast enough. I Because I don't think the actual... Oh my god, that is the loudest car in the world. I don't think we'll need a rate more than 750 millibuckets from each of these. But I suppose we'll find out. Boop. 
Oh, cool. And I made just about the perfect amount. You always love that. Okay, so now I should be able to tell it to output, uh, well, eject gases output on the front. Nope. Oh, I said items to output on the front. Okay, that doesn't help. Output. There we go. And then you. Gases output. Hmm. Interesting. This liquid deuterium. The liquid deuterium doesn't come in very fast. Well, now it's not coming in at all. Oh, no. Is there a trunk loading problem? Oh, great. Really? Is my whole base going to be defeated by a chunk loading issue? Ugh, okay, well, we'll deal with that later. But now what I want to show off is we should see in the fuel. There we go. Deuterium 1,000 millibuckets and tritium 1,000 millibuckets. Ah, the loudest car in the world is back. Okay, everything in this thing is ready for the reaction to begin, except for the fact that our fuel is not being chunk loaded. Our fuel production is not working. Um, that is a problem because... If the fuel runs out, the reaction turns off. So it's not like... I, I guess it's a problem in the sense of like, oh, it's not going to ruin everything per se. But it'll turn this thing off and we'll need to reactivate the laser, which is a pain. So let's go visit the wooden fortress and see what's going on with our weirding gadget. You see, now it's filling up again. Hmm. So who here isn't chunk loaded, huh? Ooh. You are not producing enough deuterium, are you? No, oh, that's enough. Okay. Tritium, why did you stop? Oh, because it's nighttime. Oh, that's a pain, too. That's right. We have a solar activator, so every time it turns nighttime, it turns off. That's annoying. Okay, there we go. Why did I do that? Why? Why? What, what possessed me to do that? Blech. All right. Did dirt block. Thank you. Okay, so tritium is going back. Okay, so this produces tritium pretty fast, which is really nice. This guy doesn't produce a whole lot of deuterium because I didn't put full upgrades in it since it consumed so much energy, but maybe once we get the fusion reactor up and running. But the problem is it just didn't chunk load. It just didn't want to chunk load, which I don't quite understand considering all of this is in a single chunk. I mean, I can check just in case. Um, let's see. Yep, fluid tanks are all in the chunk. All the pipes are in the chunk. Uh, all the hard water productions in the chunk, even these guys, right here, all in the chunk. Yep. And even maybe these guys chunk load even more, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just one chunk in Vault Hunters. Um, hmm. Hopefully breaking it and putting it back down worked. I don't know. But come back over here. Okay. Yeah. See, they're all full up again. And I can even check down here where I have the power supply. This should be completely full, despite the fact that it would have just used a bunch of it. So, the chunk loading is working in some places. Hmm. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. In any case, um, I think it's time we build up an enormous laser. For that, we're going to need at least a few of these lasers, which are not cheap at all. And we're going to need at least one of these laser amplifiers, which is cheap. I'm thinking probably 12 of those lasers is the right way to go. And let's be honest, we're going to need so much of the infused alloy. We may as well. And you can see I've already had to break pretty far into our Laramar. And we're on zero Laramar gems. Look at that. Zero Laramar gems. And I think this is the fourth stack of Laramar ore I'm going to be breaking down. So this thing has cost us severely in the Laramar department. That being said, we get to do Laramar Tower. And you know what? For old time's sake, I will say as I climb the Laramar Tower, if you're enjoying, please consider subscribing. If you're not already, it would really mean the world to me. Growing this channel and the community around it is such a huge part of my life. It's something I focus on literally every day, hours and hours. And it would just mean so much if you would join us. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So let's see how fast we can get there. All right, sweet. I think eight Extraordinary Laramar is just about enough to do a full stack of chromatic iron ingots. Hopefully it is. And uh, I'm going to go get that set up. Bossing my Laramar to the void and getting infused alloy back. We might need a little bit more Laramar. Yeah. Just, um, just a hunch. Although, you know what? It's possible this amount of infused alloy is going to be enough. And I will gamble that because I am a lazy man who does not want to break down even more Laramar. But it is a good thing we did that mine room recently. Oh, and we now need, unless I have 
some casing, which I don't. Oh, oh my god, I had two steel casing. I think that's everything we need. <gasps> How nice. How lovely. This should be one, two, three, four lasers and one laser amplifier. And we're also going to need some way to transport power to this because this is what is going to be powering up our laser focus matrix, which is on this side. And I will use these blocks as kind of scaffolding. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your laser amplifier in line with the laser focus matrix and we're going to have to set up some uh let's see the minimum is going to be 400 million yeah 400 million fe needs to be inside of this thing before we allow it to fire because that's how much heat is required or how much power is required to heat this thing up to the proper temperature so make sure your laser amplifier has set a minimum of 400 million fe or this will take forever now what we need to do is place our lasers facing into this guy i'm pretty sure they could be as close as we want them to be um and so for ease of access i'm going to do that and then of course you need something to actually power the lasers which will be using the uh these advanced cables with an ender gate attached to them so you can see i could attach the advanced cable boop, right to the butt of the laser uh, and then bring that around down here, eh, like so, perfect, laser attached to that one, use my scaffolding to get over this away, bring down our stuff like so, why did Quark not kick in there, awesome, um, and you can see I could put in this ender gate, uh, and it should, right, these guys should start powering up this guy, perfect, um, it, it powered a million pretty fast. Um, not the fastest thing in the world. And I hope this will fire in the right direction. I actually don't know if it will. And of course, the absolute last place we're going to be putting our laser in is right on under it. That's why we took four lasers so we could get as much coverage as possible. This mostly just reduces the amount of time I have to wait for this guy to charge up. So, yep. I'll uh, see you 400 million FE later. You know what? While editing that clip, I think I figured out why the chunk loading wasn't working here. So I'm going to go let this guy uh, pause for a second because it won't be chunk loaded. Um, it has to do with the fact that while that is chunk loaded over there and the system's chunk loaded over here, what isn't chunk loaded is the actual connection between the two of them. So I either need to make a bunch more of these guys or connect these not by a cable but by a network receiver and i actually think i'm gonna do the network receiver thing it's a bit cumbersome but i both crafted a bunch of the resources necessary and it's just gonna be really 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 annoying to have to make a bunch of those weird gadgets because each one costs like a bunch of laramar and 10 chromatic steel so i'd rather just make some more network stuff yeah just as easy as that that's literally all of the network stuff crafted up i already had all the resources so let me just get this whole thing set up okay right now we don't see any of our tritium or deuterium but once i put this card in here that should change i also went and repossessed all of the cables and okay perfect there we go okay so that is working and that should function even when we're way far away because it should all be chunk loaded and of course now this means that when the laser fires were probably not gonna have any problems i mean who knows maybe we have a ton of problems but I, I don't think we should just a lot of waiting just a real long time waiting oh i uh built it wrong that would have been bad would have drilled right through this thing okay all right that was that was dumb I don't know why I was using gravel as scaffolding either. I should probably just use dirt. Uh, hopefully this thing retains the... Oh, no, no, don't do that. Oh, stop. Right, they're lasers, they mine. Oh, oh boy. Did it just fire off? Uh, okay, well, at least I know that it needs to have the red bit facing outwards. Ah, pain, so much pain. <laughs> Okay, well, there we go. At least I know it's set up correctly this time around. Okay, now it's back up to charging. And now I have to, you know, wait for all of that power to come back. Okay, we are almost at the 400 million point. 
Uh, and at that point, this laser should fire, everything should heat up, and the process should be... Oh, this is the worst time to hit the 400 million points, but it's our nighttime. Well, hopefully we have enough stored fuel. Uh, okay, so that should happen right about now. Big laser. Oh, okay. Fuel was consumed. Oh, and you can see the reaction is happening on the inside. These guys should now be outputting deuterium. Oh, that looks so cool. Whoop. And if I get up here for heat, there we go. The plasma is heating up. The case is heating up. And we are already producing almost 100 uh, million Fe. Yeah, we've j we've already just produced 100 million Fe because we are doing uh, 400,000 Fe per tick at the minimum injection rate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this this thing is insane. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, we need a place for all this energy to go, and like really soon. I suppose I could repurpose our induction matrix, but that only stores um a few billion Fe, which I don't actually know is enough. Um, well, I know what a, what an insane thing to say, right? But, <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I, I, I could serve this for now. Although I should probably break this guy last. Although, I kind of don't want, I kind of want a way to input energy into this induction matrix without having to move it. I like how this whole setup looks, but I guess I don't need it here. Um, yeah, okay, okay. Let me actually check. I need to check. Was I intelligent or was I unintelligent? Is this all in one chunk? Um, yes, it is. Okay, and this guy is going to charge up again, but we'll break that down soon. Okay, so this guy's all in one chunk. So that's actually pretty good. Um, here is where the induction matrix, that's going to output downward, and we'll build an induction matrix Uh down here, I guess. Yeah. I'm also probably going to get some muffler upgrades with these guys because, good lord, are they loud. So, pretty much, very briefly, all of our power is about to shut off. Um, <laughs> which will be a little stressful, but uh, hopefully this thing will be able to support that for a little while. And I think we have some power running in the mechanism base. I'm not sure, though. So, for now, we'll just move this thing over as is. Um, but it definitely is going to need an upgrade. Okay, so here in the space station, we'll build this guy up here. I think it was a 5x5 five five base. So, let's see. Okay, about that size. And I think I want this to actually be the top of it, rather than the bottom. So that we could expand this thing downwards, right? I feel like, I feel like downwards expansion is a really good idea. So we'll do this. We'll break this actually, and then we're gonna have a uh, configurator so that I could put the input thing. I think it can be on the top, so we'll set this to be oh input on the top. Okay, cool. Oop, and then we're, eh. we'll just build this downward. Oh wait, I think I made this too big. Well, what does this induction casing cost? I mean, I could probably just make a bunch more of it, right? Yeah, that's pretty cheap. I also want to see about possibly getting an advanced induction cell. Um, we might be able to pull that off? I'm not sure, though. Let's see. We need four more of these to make our fourth one, and then four more of these. And then how about for this guy? So we need uh, eight? No, 12. 12 energy tablets, huh? Yeah, we definitely don't have 24. There's no way we have 24 that ally. Eh, close, but uh, I'm feeling lazy about Laramar, so no, I shouldn't be lazy. Oh, I shouldn't be lazy. I'll do it. I'll do it. Laramar Tower Part Two, because it's mechanism, and you need all the Laramar in the world when you're playing mechanism. Well, when you're playing mechanism in Vault Hunters, I'm I'm pretty sure there's no other mod pack in existence that requires Laramar for mechanism. This is the first time I've ever had our power dropping in a long time. At least there's these machines that are kind of keeping a backup supply, so it's dropping a little slower than it normally would, so that's pretty nice. And that is 12, so we should be able to make another... Well, can we make a basic induction cell? I feel like we actually might have the... Not provider, cell, yeah. Uh, no, okay, we are missing a basic energy cube. Cool, calculated that correctly, Then eh. Make that, perfect. 
Uh, and now we need to make the advanced. Oh, we don't have an advanced energy cube? Oh boy, we're going to need more stuff because we need now an advanced tier installer, which, yeah. I should probably also just stay in the <laughs> space station while I'm doing this because I keep having to run back and forth and uh, it is kind of my fault. We do have advanced energy cubes. We have two advanced energy cubes. Okay, well, all right. Sometimes you just have to raise some resources, right, everybody? That's that's the rule, isn't it? Blech. All right, well, for the advanced induction cell, uh, we're out of energy tablets again. I guess I miscalculated. Um, now I just need to put these guys in. I wonder if we're actually going to lose the energy stored within them. No, we are not. N yeah. Okay, and so that's going to give us a 25.6 billion FE capacity, which about doubles what this is. Wow, that's very efficient. Okay, nice. That's a good investment. And we have a lot more room in the induction matrix for more if we ever want to expand. Okay, so now if I come down here, I should be able to both, uh, I should be able to complete the frame. Uh, like, I guess it only has to be too tall. I don't need to make it, like, exceptionally big or anything like that. Uh, okay. Let's get our actual stuff put on the inside. These guys, this guy. This is bigger than I need it to be. I don't know why I decided to make it this big. Um, silly goofy haha, -ha, I guess, is the only answer I can really think of. Uh, and, yeah. Aw. Oh. Cool. I'll even have it output right up here so that I could just output directly into the machine so the machine will power its own energy production. That feels efficient and fun, right? Yeah. Okay. So that goes there. Red particles. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> advanced cable here. We can pop off that. No problem. And then let's get the input set up in the wee hours of the night. Perfect. And yay. So now if I right click on this, we should see it is inputting 200,000 uh, FE per tick. Wow, that's a lot. Because this thing, well, oh, are the advanced not actually fast enough to take care of the energy inside of it? Uh, no, they're not. I guess this thing can stay full, but I don't really want to waste energy. Oh, yeah, because this thing's... All right, these only can take in 51,000 FE. These can take in 400, so we'd have to upgrade them. Okay, that's actually not so bad. Oh, I even have some. Maybe this is enough. Da -da, da -da -da -da. Yep, that was enough. Okay, so now this thing should be taking in 400 FE per tick. Exactly, and this should be ever so slowly emptying out. Like, really, really slowly. It's kind of running at speed. Heat is not dropping, which is exactly what we want to see. And, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, this is really cool. So now what I'll do is the output area, I'm going to add our, um, what's it called? Our ender cell there. And, um, the weirding gadget. Actually, what I'll do for our ender cell is I'll put the blue guy there so I could just plonk that down right under it. Yep, there's the connection. And it fills right up perfect. Okay, so this is going to store much, 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 much more energy than we ever could before. Uh, 400 FE per tick. Oh, sorry, the input is still 200. Th right, the input's 200,000 because it's capped at 200,000. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's see. We need to upgrade our induction uh, receivers or whatever they're called, the providers which are significantly more expensive. Okay. Well, you know what? Could we upgrade them to an advanced one reasonably? Not really, but we can do four of these to get 400,000, so I'll go do that. How many Laramar Towers have been in this episode? Is this the most amount of Laramar Towers I've ever done? I suppose it is the basis of our mega base, so it does deserve to be invested into. Okay, I went the what the heck route and just spent all the Laramar for doing the upgraded version. Because, why not, right? <laughs> oh my god, I ran out of Laramar again. When will this nightmare end? My consciousness is fusing with the Laramar Tower. Okay, here we go. Two more basic providers. 
And uh, now I should be able... Yeah, I just need... Well, I have already an advanced, and I just need to pick up these two basic induction things. And we should be fully set on a very powerful... Yeah, how much does this do? Uh, 800,000. Cool. 800,000. So we're set probably for the rest of the playthrough with this one induction chamber that I made too big because, I don't know, it kind of looks cool, right? And here's the advanced cube, and there is the advanced rider. I just need to pop up out of here, and boop, there we go. And now the input is a lot. It's inputting a lot. That that input will go down as these tubes empty, but uh, they're probably not going to empty for a little while considering the immaculate amount of Fe that is currently stored within the sky. But you can see we are now draining the reactor. Perfect. We are pulling more Fe than we're producing. There's no real reason like for that to be a super good thing, right? It's not like it can explode or anything. This is a perfectly safe reactor. It's just we're not wasting anything. So moral of the story, we spent all of our resources to not waste anything.